day. So this is a supplementary video. Me and my friend Lawson here are up in the mountains, probably near 6,000 feet, picking porcini mushrooms. And these are also known as king belites. Highly sought after in many cultures and by chefs. And so we're uh, hoping to make a buck on these. It's a very good year and we've found a very good area. Oh yeah, no bugs, look at that. And yeah, see, perfect. It's finally cold enough that the bleats don't have any worms or bugs when you pick them. And this is really what we've been waiting for. So it's looking like it'll be a good day. I'm gonna make a little bit of a video of uh, being out here picking for y'all. I mean, really, how can you not like it? It's up here in the mountains. Catching the last little bit of summer. Sort of hanging around, picking mushrooms. Uh, Do you see this one hiding underneath the tree? This one's already kind of big, but at a glance, it looks like it's all right. Oh. Uh, it's kind of wormy, probably. A little bit old, maybe. Let's see. Here's another one. This one's dirty. Oh. Ooh. It's not bad. That one seems good. Definitely a dryer, it's worth keeping. A few wormholes, but not terrible. It's not too old. It's probably going to be one for the food dehydrator to save for later in the year. And this one, I can tell just by the feel of the stem that it's going to have some worms. Yeah. It's again really not that bad. I might just keep the top half of the stem and the cap. So I'm really not into that too bad yet, and then I can dry that. And that's what I'll eat. All the small ones so I'm gonna try to take to restaurants. Okay. Pretty good, not bad. Definitely not bad. <clears throat> Damn, it's getting wet. More mushrooms. They're everywhere right now. Just walked through a whole bunch back here. But they're all old. Older than I even care to dry. Um, but I'm going to take a brief moment to show you this mushroom. I want a tiny bit about where to find it. And a spiel about foraging. So the current state of foraging right now is that it's become very trendy and popular with well, a lot of different types of people. And I think that's fantastic. It's a great hobby, a great thing to do, and a great way to get people out 
in the outdoors. But, you know, the degree to which it has become trendy and popular means that you have hordes of people from the city driving out to places like this on the weekends and uh, picking a ton of mushrooms. And it's not really the mushroom picking that can be the problem. It's more just all of the other things that come with human use and uh, human activity. That's garbage, poop, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, there are certain things that people want to pick that are sensitive and delicate species that really should not be harvested, and ignorant people will do it anyway. Or they don't know better, you know, and it's fair enough, but. <clears throat> Anyway, with that, I'm not trying to really teach you a whole lot about this. All the information you could ever need to find this mushroom is available freely. The one thing I will do is show you quickly how to identify it. God, that was so slimy and nasty. I don't even want to touch it. Here, I'm just going to use one that I've already picked. Okay, so you can see they're fairly big. They've got this kind of like biscuit hamburger bun shaped and colored cap. They have pores, not gills, right? Those are a bunch of little pores. And with this bleat, there are many different types of bleats. They start out white, and then they get kind of yellow, and eventually olive, uh, brown kind of color. And there are other species of king bleat, or porcini, and the gills will vary a little bit with them, but it's a different thing, different story. The other thing, which you can't see all that well on this mushroom, unfortunately. This is fine netted appearance <coughs> at the apex of the stem. Or really all over the stem a lot of times. This one kind of shows it better. There we go. Perfect, right there. That's called reticulation. <laughs> And that is um, one of the distinguishing features of King Belites, or the mushrooms in the King Belite group. And oh yeah, my one tip that I'm gonna give for where you can find these mushrooms reliably, year to year, uh, in almost any climate in which they grow, is this. That's your tip. So here are they. So here's another little grouping of them, right by the creek. These two in particular look promising for being young. Oh yeah, hell yeah. This one is perfect. Ah. Oh. Tiny bit of a bug bite right there, but otherwise perfect plump little porcini. <clears throat> porcini is the Italian name and it means little pig. You can kind of see why. But this is what you want to sell to a restaurant. And this mushroom right here is probably worth about uh, eight, nine, ten dollars at a low retail price. Okay, here's another little. Perfect one. Oh, yeah. Not quite as perfect of a shape, but the, uh, oh, a little few worms. Yeah, that's too bad. It's still pretty young, but I'm gonna keep it. Uh, yeah, the, white, the whiter the gills are, the younger it is. <clears throat> Here's, this is the first one I noticed. Oh, don't run away. Little piggy. Oh, yeah. It's got some worms, I'm pretty sure. It's a fairly good mushroom. Definitely worth making some soup out of. Oh, hey. One more. Fairly young. We just found a few good 
little baby buttons right here, and then you come around this corner through here. Wait. Oh shit. This one hiding from me. Oh yeah. That's what's up. Oh, and two little primordia attached. Check that. Those are uh, like the very first formation of new mushrooms. It's actually kind of a shame that I pulled those up with this one, but whatever. Now that's real like pedophilia. It's like, those are like infantile. Um, but yeah, you pop around this corner right here. Just bam. 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 Jabammy. Bam. Clump of four hiding right underneath there. Here's one more tip I'll offer up to the viewers. People, a lot of people know these mushrooms. This is the Mario mushrooms. Amanitas, Amanita muscaria group. And oftentimes, very oftentimes, you find them very close to the King Belites. Anyway, I gotta pick. We've been up here for no more than an hour and a half. And I'm already completely sopping wet. I've got water running down my legs, into my boots, entirely. We keep getting these just big patches of fog, pretty much clouds. We're so high up here that the clouds are blowing through and condensing on the mountain. And it just rains kind of hard for a minute, and it goes away, and then it rains again. It's pretty cold though. Let me show you these mushrooms. I just grabbed these real quick while I was walking by. This is the Mario mushrooms. Amanita muscaria group. I'll uh, talk more about them later, but they're well known for being sort of psychedelic, hallucinogenic is more the term, but... This is a way to prepare them safely as food. They're delicious mushrooms. Anything up there? No? And, uh, yeah, or you can cook them to eat, and they kind of make you feel drunk. So these two mushrooms right here are <clears throat> of the quality to be taken to high-end restaurants. And, uh, no charge 20 to 40 dollars per pound for them so really you know we haven't found a ton of them today a lot of these still have worms like I keep talking about but ideally you know you'd want to find at a minimum a half a bucket of them and uh, despite how big they get they can be pretty easy to miss too particularly when they're young and good and at the stage where you really want to, well, both eat and sell them. And so I just almost walked right through a decent little honey hole. You can't see any mushrooms really, right? And then I noticed this one. This guy, big beauty, hanging out under here, right underneath this spruce. Oh! And then I began looking around. And I saw this one, little button hiding. There we go, it's another one. There's this one right here. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, man. I can't even find them all right now, but there were at least three or four more little buttons hanging out somewhere right out here yep see here's one you can't even see it two three three coming up I gotta be careful because I could definitely be stepping on them right now it's very possible that a lot of what's here hasn't even emerged from underneath the ground yet god there's at least Two or three more right over here. Anyway, get picking. All right, end of the day, we did pretty well. All right, the mushrooms have more bugs than I would have hoped. 
but we did get quite a few, you know, good younger number one, number two specimens. These are all Lawson's, kind of sorted by grade. Those are all the big, gnarly dryers back there. Yeah, these are like bigger than my head. And I got, you know, a good little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to sell any of them till I get back and clean them and weigh how much my uh, how much I have that I would like to sell because most of these are buggy. Ow! <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see.